So hello guys, welcome to Java is awesome. And in this video, we can talk about Java developer interview questions of a Spring Boot. Lots of the MNC companies are asking these questions. So I have collected from multiple interview. This is the common questions they are asking every day. Okay, in the each and every interview, maybe it's a Accenture interview, maybe it's a TCS interview, maybe it's a a cognizant or maybe say CL interview the MNC companies are directly focusing on this particular questions okay or mainly two three four questions definitely they will ask from that seat only so this seat is very very important and I will give this seat into the uh, descriptions link so you can take from that okay but I am going to explain you each and every questions like what is the questions and from where it's coming and how they are asking in front of you okay so you can prepare for that so that you can not miss your interview so let's start now so your first question is of the spring boot they're asking generally hey what is the spring boot and how does it's different from the traditional spring framework so many people are getting confused hey i don't know a spring framework how can i differentiate it okay so guys, it's not a difficult things. Just you have to tell the features of the Spring Boot in front of them and tell them like in the Spring, those features are not available. That is the difference. So like that you can explain to him. Okay, but you can go and learn some features about the Spring Boot and you can see the comparison also in the Spring Boot and Spring Framework. They are asking sometimes. Okay, what is the advantage of using the Spring? So if you know the advantage, you can easily compare both okay what does the spring boot auto configuration feature work and how it will work okay so they will ask what is the spring boot starter and why they are using why they useful so a spring boot starter and why are they useful a starter is very very useful because they are packaging uh, multiple dependency in the one dependency so you can easily get all those uh, required things into the one dependency so that is better one okay next question they are asking dependency injections and bean management so they will ask like question like explain the difference between component service repository controller notations they will ask the difference so you have to know about each and every dependency each and every annotations where you are using it okay next question is what is the purpose of auto add in my uh, like a century interview they have asked these questions what is the purpose of auto wire and how does it will work explain it next questions what is the scope of the spring beans next questions what do you what do you define a custom scope for the bean in the spring boot how do you define custom scope for a bean in the spring boot that is very very important questions okay i am teaching in my uh, spring boot uh, master class so in that time covering those things also a spring boot configurations so they are asking what is the different way to configure properties in a spring boot application so one is uh, yml and one is properties file they are conveying in the two way definitely and next is what how can you externalize configuration in the spring boot configuration like what are the data source or maybe what are the some urls you are configuring how you are configuring it externally from other place not in your application so for that we are using the spring boot profiles or maybe they are storing some other place those details and they are reading directly from that so that is called externalize it the configurations explain the difference uh, between value configuration properties and environment in the spring boot this question is also asking there now data access what is the spring data jpa how do you define a repository interface how you can create repository interface how can you use it also they are asking questions how do you handle the transaction in the spring boot that is popular question earlier also but nowadays they are focusing on the transactions like how you are handling the transactions they are trying to know also explain the difference between tra either a transactional and programmatic transactional management how it will work 
so what is the annotations and if it is annotation is not there then how we are handling it okay both approach they are asking now it is okay what is the security so how do you secure a spring boot applications okay and what is the security and how does it's integrate with the spring boot explain the scope of method level security in the method level how you can use the security okay so based on the role you can provide the security like uh, has authority or has role we have a method so we can use those method and we can provide the security on the method level also particular api okay and you can authenticate it next thing is restful service how do you create a restful web service using the spring boot they are asking okay how are the rest controllers and request mapping annotation used for what is the what is the use of those particular annotations next question is how do you handle the exceptions in the spring boot restful services that is very very important questions they are asking now it is a spring boot testing question sometimes they are asking the cisco company they have asked like how do you write a unit test case for the spring boot applications and what is the use of a spring boot test annotations okay so those are the cisco questions they are asking again uh, in the essential also they have asked how do you test restful services in the spring boot so that is the question also from the essentials microservices and spring cloud uh, like what is the spring cloud and how that is support microservices architectures so a spring cloud is supporting to the microservice architecture how internally you have to represent and you have to show them okay how do you use netflix eureka how do you use netflix eureka and a spring cloud config in a a spring boot application how we are using it in the microservice application what is the history dashboard and how does it help us to fault tolerance that's it okay so history dashboard they are asking what is the history dashboard and how does it help to do the fault tolerance fault tolerance means any uh, problem or any exception happen then how it will help us okay so these questions are really very very important i have collected from the multiple interviews and they are asking generally those questions only okay so what you have to do is take this sheet from my uh, descriptions and you can start practice for that once you practice for that easily you can crack the interview and uh, generally this is i have prepared based on the 3 to 5 year experience guys but if, even if you have a 2 year experience or maybe 7 year experience you can also practice for that because this question is very very important definitely they will ask to you okay i hope you understood okay and uh, please is video ka hum target rakhe hain at least 50 like okay so you have to help me to uh, consider the like and that video at least 50 okay thank you so much